to my channel. My name is Jamie. So for today, finally, we are going to talk about my wedding dress. I really like that I get to share this experience with you guys and it's not all the time that I find a wedding planning vlog or a wedding journey vlog. So if you are watching this and if you are getting married, then I hope that this entertains you and it helps you out as well. One of my subscribers is also getting married. So congratulations to you. Congratulations to both of us. And I hope that your wedding planning journey has been smooth sailing so far. But if you are not getting married yet and if you just like watching Say Yes to the Dress or if you are curious about my wedding dress, then I hope you enjoy this video. Walang nagsabi sa akin that finding a wedding dress is probably one of the most difficult things that you have to do when planning a wedding. I thought it would be smooth sailing like the ones in the movies when they try on like two or three dresses and then they would get that feeling that parang, huh, kakasad na ako. Parang ganun. But that didn't really happen for me. Tip number one, if you're finding a wedding dress, you have to really know yourself. If you are not an emotional person, and I know a lot of, you know, YouTubers say this as well, you know, YouTubers who are planning a wedding or getting married or who are bridal consultants, if you are not emotional, you will not cry when you see your wedding dress. Probably on the day of your wedding, you will cry, but when you are finding your dress, it's probably not the same as the Say Yes to the Dress series. I myself am not too much of an emotional person, I guess. I don't cry when I'm happy. I don't cry when I'm overwhelmed. I cry when I'm angry. And I feel like throughout this wedding journey, I'm really so it doesn't mean that you don't cry, that that is not your dress. Just be mindful of what kind of person you are. There are three things that I considered in finding a wedding dress and that is my CBS, comfort, budget, and style. Which leads me to tip number two. Let's talk about comfort. It's no secret that a wedding dress is probably one of the biggest gastos that you will make when planning a wedding. If you are planning a very low-key wedding, then you have the option to not really spend a lot of money on it. But if you want something a little bit more to it, then it's really gonna cost you. That being said, if you really have decided that you will spend for it, then you have to make sure that it's something that you would want to wear the whole night. Well, technically, it's pretty much the whole day because even if you have your wedding in the afternoon, like me, I'm having my wedding at 2 p.m., I have to get ready siguro by mga 7 in the morning and I'm pretty much gonna wear the gown the whole day. Take note that I also did not plan to wear a reception dress or like a separate dress because I feel like it's just a waste of money on my part and I don't really want to waste time with the festivities by changing. That being, if you are going to wear something the entire day, you have to make sure that you can actually move in it. And when I say that you have to move in it, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the only time you can move when you're walking down the aisle, but also you have to be able to sit, you have to be able to dance, you have to be able to twirl, and basically enjoy the night wearing just that dress. Take note that comfort is actually one of the things that hindi mo talaga matatago unless napakagaling mong artista. If you're not comfortable, it's going to reflect all over with your body language and even your face. And of course, we don't want that to happen. We want to have good wedding photos and we also want to be glowing the whole night. And I also feel like on the day of the wedding, if I wear something that's not comfortable, that's gonna be the only thing that's on my mind. I'm probably not gonna even pay attention to my new husband, to the party, to the ganda of everything, just because I'm so uncomfortable. Next thing to consider is your budget. When it comes to the budget, the first question that you should ask yourself is, how much am I willing to spend? And when you finally decide on the amount that you want to spend, the second question that you should ask yourself is, am I willing to go over the budget? And if I am, what is the maximum cap. Setting a budget is not important just for your entire wedding, but also for you, especially if you are the one who is going to buy the gown. And the last thing that you should consider is, of course, style. Every girl at one point in her life has dreamed of her own wedding gown, and for me, I don't think it's ever happened before. Nan pumapasok ang Pinterest. Pinterest really helped me in finding a gown that I really like. My recommendation for you is if you're like me and you absolutely have no idea, then all you have to do is to type wedding gowns and look at a bunch of photos. Don't pressure yourself into finding something agad, all you have to do is to keep browsing. If I were you, just try to save all of them or pin them and just keep going back to those photos later. As you keep scrolling, you'll eventually find a gown that actually speaks to you, which then you will have to try on next. Kung magpapatahi ka ng damit, I highly recommend that you visit bridal shops. It's free to have an appointment, well, normally, I'm not sure with like big boutiques or designer boutiques, but in the bridal shops that I have been to, their fitting appointment is 
absolutely free. It's really fun to go to a bridal shop and try all these dresses. And here is a very, very important tip for you as well. Make sure that you enter the bridal shop with an open mind. When you finally find that picture that speaks to you, the feel mong, this is the wedding gown for me, sometimes it just doesn't feel that way when you try it on. Okay, so now is the time for me to show you guys some of the gowns that I have tried. This is gonna be so exciting. Basically, these are the three that I want to share with you guys. And the first gown that we have is called Noel. Noel is the gown that is not me. Just because I'm the kind of person who's like, I don't know, dainty, girly. I don't like wearing things that are body hugging, basically. I like that it was white. You can never go wrong with white if you want to be very, very bridal. Although it's in this journey that I found that there are like 50 to 100 shades of white. Overall, the Noelle gown is very stunning, very sexy as well. But in a way, because it's so body hugging and it's very flattering if you have curves, it wasn't that comfortable for me to move in. So, next. Next one is the Hadara. The lace details of Hadara is beautiful. But I noticed that anything that makes sleeves is just not for me. For what it is, it's a big ball gown with a lot of details. The skirt is surprisingly lightweight. It's so easy to move around and it's comfortable, but again, super not me. If I would choose between the Noel and Hadara, ko ano yung mas mabumukang ako, I would still choose Noel. So Hadara was probably at the bottom of my list. And then we have Rosina. So Rosina is more of my style. To be honest, I would get this if I was getting married like in a garden setting, if I wasn't going to get married in the church, because the Rosina is very beautiful, very sexy but too sexy. When I wore it, I instantly felt like, whoop, pagagalit si father nito. Hindi yata ako papakasal ni father sa church ng ganito. So immediately, that was out of the question. I just didn't want to put attachments to it or like a sleeve. I just want the gown to be as it is. Kaya yeah, it's important for me na yung gown na bibiling ko is pasado na sa church. It's very simple and cute and the people from Ivory and White Bridal told me that it's actually perfect for garden or beach weddings. It's very lightweight. I could definitely imagine myself dancing all night with this dress. Very comfortable. But again, too sexy. Like, it just had such a low back and low neckline. So yeah, that's basically it. Of course, I'm not gonna share with you guys the gown that I've chosen. I actually opted to not include it in this video because I want it to be a complete surprise. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram because sometimes pag hindi ako nakapag-upload, mas nag-update pa ako sa Instagram ko. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!